Hi, this is Rachel Snow with CCT in Richmond, Virginia, and I'll demonstrate some of my favorite time-saving tips in PowerPoint 2013. And I want to start off by talking about working with text in PowerPoint. Now, you can certainly edit and work with your text on the slide, but you can do it in the outline pane as well. In previous versions, there used to be a little outline tab over here just above the uh, slide thumbnails. Um, but in 2013, you go to the View tab and then choose Outline View, and there it displays just the text from all the slides within your presentation. Um, now on mine it looks like the text is a little small for me. I'd like to make that a little larger. So I'm just going to make sure that I've clicked somewhere within that outli outline pane and then click the zoom button and I'll make it just a little bit bigger. And that's a little easier for me to work with. Now you can use um, some of the same keyboard shortcuts to select text in the outline as on the slide. Um, one of my favorites is control. Let's say I want to format a few different but bullets at the same time, but they're not next to each other. It's easy enough when they're connected to drag select them, but what if they're not? So I can actually use control to select um, different ones. I'll select the first one, hold control on my keyboard, and then select the others. Now if I want those just to be bolded or a different font color, I could apply that here. Works the same over here on the outline pane as well. I can select one bullet, hold control, and select another. Or I can select one word and hold control and select another. And you can see I can have just those two words selected. Um, something else that a lot of people don't know about in PowerPoint is how to promote and demote bullets from being a, like a primary level bullet down to a sub-level bullet. And I'll do, demonstrate that up in uh, slide two. So let's say we want the second bullet to be demoted. I'm just going to click with my cursor at the beginning of that text and press tab. And that demotes it. And with each time I press tab, it demotes it again. Now to promote it back up to being a level one bullet, I hold down shift as I press tab. And notice that promotes it back up again. And I'm going to repeat this process over in the outline pane, but I'll show you one large difference by doing it in the outline pane. So I'll start with this convert text bullet click at the beginning of it, I'll press tab, watch it demote, but I'll hold down shift tab and promote it. But once it gets to be a main level bullet, if I promote it again, it actually creates um, a new slide from that text and takes that bullet, makes it the heading, and then the other bullets below will be bullets within that slide. And I could quickly go back to this being a bullet on the previous slide by demoting it down by pressing tab. You can drag and drop text from uh, one slide to another in the outline pane very easily. Here on the bottom of slide three, I've got these uh, bullets that I would like to be up on slide two. So I'll click to select them, and then with my mouse, just drag them up. And I'm gonna drop at the end of the last bullet on the previous slide, and I'll just click there and press enter on my keyboard, and that brings the bullet down to its own line. So very easy to rearrange text in our outline pane. Now we're not going to use this pane for the next few exercises, so I'll go back to our normal view where we see the little slide thumbnails. And let's go down to the Convert Text to SmartArt slide. And I would like to change um, this bulleted text to be displayed as SmartArt. So I want to make sure that this text box is selected or the bullets themselves are selected either way. And on the Home tab in the Paragraph group, click the Convert to SmartArt button. And that gives me a few smart arts with um, a live preview. And these are all nice, but it's not quite right for what I want. So I'll go down to more smart art graphics. And I'd like one from the relationship category. And I'll choose this converging radial and click OK. And I'd like to apply a more colorful scheme to my smart art. So up here on the smart art tools design tab, I'll change colors and apply this uh, this colorful option. Now let's talk about using Format Painter on our objects. Um, Format Painter is very commonly used to format various sets of text, but you can also use it on images and other objects in PowerPoint. So I'll select this first image and apply a little formatting to it. On the Picture Tools Format tab, I'll uh, select a, a frame for the picture. I'll change the border color to a blue. And how about we apply um, a reflection to that? 
okay? And I'm happy with this, but I want to apply this format to this image. Instead of repeating the formatting steps, I'm going to use the Format Painter to apply the formatting. I'll start with the formatted picture, then on the Home tab, click Format Painter, and then I will click on that picture, and notice now they have the same set of formatting. There's also an animation painter that will paint the animation settings from one object to another. Uh, now this uh, SmartArt has an animation applied. I know that by I can click within it and click on the animations tab and I can see these little animation buttons here. I can see that it has the wipe applied. Also if you see a little star by the slide number you know that slide has some kind of animation going on or a transition. So. Um, Anyway, this one, if you want to take a quick look at what this animation is, um, again, on that Animations tab, we'll click Preview, and that will play our animation. And I'd like to apply that animation to the SmartArt we created just a moment ago. So I want to start by making sure that this object is selected, and then still on the Animations tab, click Animation Painter. Okay. Now we're going to scroll to the slide where we want to apply it. And notice, see, I have that paintbrush on my mouse. I'm going to click on this animation, or on the Smart Art, and now that animation is applied. Now, um, one of my all-time favorite shortcuts in PowerPoint is um, how to make a duplicate of a slide. Now, let's say I need um, another slide that looks a lot like this one. So I'm just going to make sure that slide thumbnail is selected, and on my keyboard, hit Control D, and there's my duplicate. Um, I'm going to switch views over to my slide sorter view, which is this button down on um, your toolbar at the very bottom right of your screen. You could also go to view and then uh, slide sorter here as well. And this zips me out where I can see a thumbnail of each slide. And I'm going to take that duplicate and drag it to the end of my presentation. But let's say I need more than one slide that looks like this one. I'll click it, hit Control D. There's my duplicate. Click this one, Control D, so you can see it's a really easy thing to do. If you want to get rid of any of those, you just select it and press Delete on your keyboard. Now I'm going to double click slide one to take me back into my normal view. And um, the last tip I want to show you is how to speak um, or to have how to have PowerPoint actually speak to you or read your slide text aloud to you. Um, so I'll go to this uh, tab. We'll, we'll read these, and we need to get the button for speak, which isn't already on the ribbon or on your Quick Access Toolbar. We have to go find it. So at the end of the Quick Access Toolbar, click the drop-down arrow, and then select More Commands. This opens the PowerPoint Options dialog box and takes you to the Quick Access Toolbar options. Now, I want to locate my commands from this list, um, but I want to shorten my options by choosing uh, commands not in the ribbon. And then I'll click within this list, and a quick way to jump down to the S's, because we want to speak, so I can press S on my keyboard, and then go on down to um, choose speak. I'll click the add button to add that to my quick access toolbar here, and click OK. Now, the button is grayed out right now. Um, you have to actually drag select the bullets that you want it to read out to you. So I'm going to select a few here and click the button. You should hear it read on my system. Format text in outline pane. Promote and demote text. Convert text to smart art. And I'll click the button again to stop the reading. So that's just really a fun way to help you go back and edit your text on your slides is have PowerPoint actually read them to you. Now I'll scroll down and select uh, this slide in my presentation. Um, a few of the shortcuts I've discussed today are on here. Um, here's Create Duplicate. There's a few others here as well you may want to review. Again, this is Rachel Stone at CCT in Richmond, Virginia, and thanks for watching.